continues with no wait weather. And I think you were saying earlier today we don't want anything like that again, and yeah. it would probably right. be pretty rare if we were to have an incident yeah. like that again. Well, we have a tornado outbreak, multiple tornadoes in our area. Those don't happen very often, maybe a couple times every three to five years. Yeah. And wow. So it's been a while. It'll probably be a while before we see something like that. At least we can hope. So. Yeah. Right now we're quiet. It's very hazy, and we have another celestial event taking place tonight. We've been watching in the western skies just after sunset. Venus dancing with Jupiter, the two brightest stars in the western sky, just as we head into the nighttime hours. Tonight, they're very, very, very close to each other, almost looking like one star. Problem is... We got the haze. We got clouds out to the west. So we won't be seeing that tonight. 68 in Fargo, 68 in Moorhead. Wind from the east northeast is blowing at five miles per hour and in Grand Forks, much the same. 66 degrees with a calm wind. Your dew point at 61. Mid 60s for most, 67 in Jamestown. That's west of the Red River Valley out to the east. 70 in both Detroit Lakes and Fergus Falls with Bemidji, a nice, comfortable 61 already. All right, we're talking a lot about the haze lately. We have mild to hot weather out to the west where they're in the 90s in Montana. And we, we see the clouds streaming out of the area near Saskatoon where the fires have been a burning and providing us with the haze-filled sky. And that upper-level wind doesn't appear to be changing too much over the next several days. So haze will likely be a part of our forecast, as will some showers. As we had some move through... Uh, all the way from the Jamestown area in Stutzman County into southeast North Dakota. Now, as they move east, they've been falling apart a little bit, but some sprinkles south of Lisbon moving in toward Lidgerwood this evening. And out to the west of that, some heavier showers where the thunderstorm activity has been pretty potent in the far western Dakotas tonight. Overnight, it's going to cool off nicely to the north and to the east. We're talking mid-50s for you. Crack the windows delightfully clear to... Uh, quiet overnight, but for the western counties west of the Red River, a chance for some overnight showers, a couple of rumbles of thunder, and not anticipating severe weather. So we get our day started off with an umbrella from Jamestown, possibly New Rockford and Carrington, all the way down into Richland County, where there's showers tonight. The rest of us likely very dry and quiet. South winds tomorrow only 10 miles per hour, and even though they're from the south, uh, and, and the fires are burning up north. This is surface winds. Those upper level winds still coming from the northwest will still be hazy. Temperatures near 80 for most of us. 70s across greater Minnesota. And a hit or miss thunder shower on your Wednesday evening with stronger storms once again on the boundary between the hot air and the cooler air out west. Now as we take a gander at your forecast, tomorrow we'll see temperatures near 60 to start the day, rising up into the upper 70s in the afternoon, south winds, and again, only a slight chance of hit or miss late day storms. 79 Jamestown on your way home from work. Langdon, 76 degrees. Roseau, 79 on the 3 o'clock hour for you. Bemidji, 77. A pretty fair day across the region, but once again, haze has provided us with some beautiful shots. And these are hazy skies from the Roger Maris golf event recently. Steve Jansen passing that along. What a great shot. He had another one, too. Here's one of a plane approaching Hector. And now the planning forecast. Take a gander at this as we jump toward the close of our work week. We're talking about temperatures that return to, well, we're still below average on Thursday with a real good chance of storms. But those storms will not clear the hazy skies. Friday, hazy. And then on 4th of July, still hazy, but dry both Friday and Saturday for those doing any festivities. Have a lot of fun. A better chance of storms. Some could be strong on Sunday as we close out the hot weather. That will sweep out the haze and we'll finally have some blue skies to enjoy at sunset That'd be time. nice to see. I think so too. It's been enough of this hazy gray for me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Still to come tonight on Valley News Live 10 at 10, the national chicken chain that's getting high praise from restaurant growers. But first, why people with respiratory issues should be aware of going outside in the valley over the next few days.